Hey, this is Bomb Track 411, and um, I'm going to teach you how to play Wait and Bleed. Uh, and in my version, I mean in my video, I didn't play it 100% uh, correct. There are a few parts that I didn't know then that I know now. And so, uh, I'll be teaching you the correct way now. And uh, I had it pretty much right in my video, but anyway... The intro, I played it like this. When uh, that's only part of it, you actually go. Okay. Uh, and that, uh, I'll show you. And make sure you're tuned to drop B tuning, which from low to high, uh, sixth string to first string, it's B, F sharp, B, E, G sharp, and C sharp. And um, it it should it plays like drop D tuning if you're not familiar with drop B. Okay, now the beginning riff. Uh, it starts just open strings uh, on the sixth and fourth string, and you just go alternate picking between the sixth and fourth, and you do three, and it goes like this. Just one, two, three, and uh, and then you move and do the same picking technique on the seventh fret uh, on the same strings. So it'll be uh, first finger on the seventh fret on the sixth string, and second finger or third finger, whatever is comfortable, on the seventh fret of the fourth string. So and I'll sound like this. And then after that, you move down the first fret and do the same thing, same uh, finger. Same fingering, just down here. And then you slide up to 8. With the same thing. So together, that part sounds like this. Uh, and uh, then the next part, you're actually doing a power chord. Well, not a full power chord. Your first finger is on the 5th fret on the... Uh, fifth string, and then your third finger is on the seventh fret of the fourth string to make this. And you're going to do the same one, two, three picking. Uh, and then, then you go back and do the, uh, the picking on the seventh fret where it's, uh, 7th fret of the 6th string, 7th fret of the 4th string. So, so up until that, it'll sound like this. And then, after that, you do the same power chord, just moved up 1 fret. So it's 6 and 8 uh, on 5th and 4th string. So, uh, the second part of it. And then you move to uh, the, the uh, picking pattern from with 6th and 4th, uh, but this time it's on the 8th fret. So all together slow, it'll sound like this. Okay. And that is the intro riff and the chorus riff. And um, the second guitar comes in uh, when the drums come in. The beginning, it's just hi-hat on the drums, and then when 
uh, the drums uh, come in, like the main rhythm of it. Uh, second guitar, Jim, plays an octave on uh, up here on the 12th, where it's on the 5th string uh, on the 12th fret, and then the 3rd string on the 14th fret. So <laughs> that pattern, it sounds like this. And, and what, it's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, and then uh, three, four is uh, slid up one, Two, thirteen, and fifteen. It's just three, four, and then back down. So. Okay, so that goes through every chorus, uh, except for the last chorus, which I'll get into that later. Okay, now the riff. It's kind of a transition right before uh, the the verse. This um, it's pretty fast um, down up picking down here, and you're going to be hitting all three of the uh, the low strings five. Uh, I mean four, five, and six. So uh, the part you need to get first is uh, it's uh, just one, two, three, one, two, three. And uh, I like to do down, up, down, down, up, down. And um, so it goes. And right after the second uh, one, where it goes. Then you, then you hit one more time to make it four. So. And after the fourth on the second one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then you slide on the sixth string, you, you slide to uh, six, and then you hit five on the fifth string. So. into the verse and the verse is just one two three one two three uh, for the first part it goes and then it goes one four one open so one two three one two three and then you know these the one four one and um and then does that the whole verse. And then the chorus is just like the first chorus. Except uh, it only, it's only one, uh, the chorus only goes once. And then it goes into the verse riff. Goes into the verse riff. The, and, um, and then it pauses uh, for a second uh, during the... Uh, the part where Corey says, get out of my head, uh, and then you slide back down, and then, um, and then start playing the verse riff again. Oh, and something I forgot to mention, when you're doing the, uh, the riff, what you have to do is the one, two, three, the open, uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, those are not palm muted, it's, and then the one, four, one, that's palm muted. Okay, and uh, that may take a while just to separate the palm muting, uh, if you're not good at that. And, um, okay, where are we? Okay, second chorus. Uh, same thing, except it goes twice, twice as long as the, uh, the previous chorus. And then, um, then it goes into a riff on the uh, 12th fret, starts on the 12th fret on the 6th string. <laughs> 